Hi, good evening to you, Sarah. At least 30 Connecticut College students have been staying overnight here at Fanning Hall. Now you can see the building is decorated with their demands and faculty and staff here on campus are getting in on the message too, even canceling some classes and delaying midterms to support the students in this process. So what is their overall message? Well, they want institutional change. For four days, a group of Connecticut college students have been making their voices heard. No Many of them, including Lyndon Inglis and Maddie Vanich, are part of a group called SVE, Student Voices for Equity, created just two weeks ago. Dean King's resignation was the straw that broke the camel's back, and we decided that that was the last straw. Last month, King, who was the college's Dean of Institutional Equity and Inclusion, stepped down from his position. It came immediately after the college scheduled a fundraising event at a Florida country club well known for discrimination and anti-Semitism. That event was later canceled, but for students, that wasn't enough. We need holistic and institutional change on across the board. SVE leaders have created a list of demands, including asking President Catherine Bergeron to resign. They'll continue to occupy Fanning Hall until those demands are met. The general consensus is students are told that when they come to Connecticut College, they will be heard and listened to. That is something that we value so much as a community, um, and that is not being upheld in the administration. College administrators have sent messages to campus sharing interest in working with the students and creating change. The president responding in a statement saying, quote, it is my sincere hope that these collective efforts, especially the current vigorous engagement of many members of the community, will help open dialogue, restore trust, and advance the work we need to do to create the Connecticut College we envision. More than anything, this is about an institutional culture of inequity and inequality. Um, and we know that Connecticut College is not the only institution that faces it. Now we're told by the Board of Trustees that they have hired an outside company to take a look at their policies, especially when it comes to diversity and inclusion, and they do plan to make some changes. In the meantime, we're told Dean King has accepted a position similar to the one he had here at UMass Amherst. We have reached out to him on social media, and we're still waiting to hear back. For now, we're live here in New London at Connecticut College. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.